Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. Today I'll be showing you all the best settings for Call of Duty Warzone for low end PCs. These tweaks and changes will definitely help you guys get better FPS as well as fix lagging and micro stutters. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch this video till the end. Also consider subscribing to the channel since 98% of you guys haven't. Let's reach 50k as soon as possible. I believe in you all and let's roll the intro. Alright, let's move with step number one, that is creating a restore point. This is a really important step so make sure you guys don't miss it out. It is just a failsafe method to prevent any data loss. For that, press your windows key and then type in create a restore point. Now over here, scroll down and then select your local disk C, click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on OK and then click create, name it whatever you want, for me I'm gonna be typing it MW for Modern Warfare and then click on create. After doing this step, download the Call of Duty Warzone pack from the link in the description below. I have designed this pack specifically for low end PCs, so as soon as you extract and open them up, you will find 3 folders in here. The first one says registry tweaks, second one is for programs and third one is for performance options. Now let's follow each and every folder step wise. Now in the first folder you'll find a lot of registry files. All you have to do is right click and click on merge. Now doing this step will improvise your PC's performance. All of them disable specific tasks which are not required in your computer but they still exist. Now these tasks when running in the background lowers your processing speed ultimately affecting your gameplay performance. So it's better you disable all of them and if anything goes wrong you guys can always restore your PC to the original state where nothing has happened. Do all all of these registry tweaks and then go back to the second folder which says programs. Alright before moving ahead I would like to tell you guys that I have joined Booyah and that's an amazing platform where I upload short clips of my gameplays. You guys can watch those clips and win exciting rewards under the daily events. Download Booyah from the link in the description below, hope to see you there. Now the first program which is MZ RAM Booster. All you have to do is double click and open it up. Now in this application you guys will see your total physical memory that is 16 GB for me. It can be different for you so all you have to do is follow my tweaks. Go to the third option and then click on the first option and then go for 2000 everywhere and then click on apply changes and click on ok. Then go to options and then do the following changes over here and then click on apply changes. Then click on smart optimize and let it optimize your RAM. Once done with that, minimize this app and then let it run in the background. Letting it run in the background won't consume much processing power, it will ultimately keep your RAM free. So do the following settings. Then open up throttle stop as administrator. Alright, once it opens up, then select the second option which says game over here and then click on high performance and over here don't change anything. Click on turn on and then minimize throttle stop and let it run in the background as well. Last but not the least is timer resolution and we all know that we use it to reduce the input delay. Just open it up, click on maximum and close timer resolution. Lastly, click on performance options and then double click on the shortcut. It will take you out to the screen. Now over here, click on adjust for best performance. Over here, enable this option which says show thumbnail instead of icons, click on apply. Now just by doing these steps, you guys will see significant improvement in your gameplay FPS. But if still that is not the case, all you have to do is press windows key and then type in game mode settings. And then make sure that game mode is enabled. Just on the right side, you guys will find graphic settings. Click on it and over here, make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Now click on browse and then find the download location of your game. You have to select the modernwarfare.exe application and then click on add. Now go to options and then make sure to select high performance with your GPU over here. Click on save. Doing this will prioritize your game to your GPU than your CPU. This is most profitable when you are using a laptop which has both Intel UHD graphics as well as graphics card. Once you are done with that, go to display settings and then scroll down and then select the advanced display settings. Now in here make sure to select the highest refresh rate offered by your monitor. Now once you're done with these settings open up your call of duty game and then follow the in-game setting. Alright once you are in game go to options and then do the following changes I am showing right on the screen.
Alright, that concludes our video today. I hope this video had helped you out and if it did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. As I said, 98% of you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel. It helps me out a lot and it encourages me to make more awesome videos like this. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.